square before, so it's, it's nice that it's repeatable. Right? So about minus 29 dB. So that's our benchmark. So now with a two inch pigtail, we went from minus 29 to about minus 19. How much shielding effectiveness did we just lose? About 10 dB. Again, I, I think that S word applies there. I used, I used it once, that's my allocation, so I'm not gonna use it again. But, so, so let's go to the four inch. So we're at minus 19.7, call it minus 20. Now you can probably, you can basically see the progression here. It's not gonna get better now, is it? Okay, from a mi minus 19.7, minus 15, we lost about another 4 dB. And then 8 inch. Let's see, we're, we were about minus 15 or so before. We just lost about another 3 or 4 dB. So minus, minus, kind of wiggling around a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, when, when it's a when it's a loop, there's definitely some additional coupling going on. Yeah, actually, okay, that's more or less a closed loop, closed dish. Go ahead and open it up a little bit. Yeah, so there's a bit more coupling as you open up the loop. You kind of expect that, right? So, um, and that's one of the things if you want to repeat this experiment in your lab, which I fully encourage. Um, if you you want to isolate the different effects, this is. If we we're going to, I probably do want to take this experiment a step further and maybe isolate those effects. If you got a big wide open loop, you're dealing with just the presence of the pigtail, but then you're also dealing with coupling to 